So after studying journalism for four years of my life and just finished my master's, I have a lot of thoughts and observations about journalism and honestly studying it as a student as well. So if that sounds interesting to you, stick around. When you get that bit of work experience and you're actually doing it for a real life publication, all the things you're taught in your lectures will finally just click. I don't even know entirely how to explain it, but for me, when I was taught the stuff in my lectures, it's not like I didn't understand it, it's just I didn't, or at least I wasn't able to apply it practically as well as I potentially could have, or as well as they hoped, until I now got that work experience for an actual publication. And if you're a student and you get work experience very early on, it gives you an advantage that is unbelievable because it gives you a lot of confidence as well because you've actually done it for a live publication there's no way that the average person is ever going to fully be able to understand how difficult journalism can be because ultimately to them you're just on the air for two minutes if you're reading a radio bulletin or it's just a quick article of 300 to 500 words or however long and you know everyone thinks oh i can write i can speak i can read i could do that job but they'll never truly appreciate it because the best journalists, quite frankly, make it look easy, make it look seamless. Because if you can do that and you have your novice thinking that, oh, they can do it too, you're probably pretty good. Because it's until they have to do something similar in their own job that they realize, oh, what we do is actually quite difficult. I don't think anyone who gets into journalism, or at least no one I know, got into journalism because of the pay. We all knew it wasn't the greatest in the world. but you're telling me some of the biggest publications in the UK cannot pay at least 25 to 30k, despite the fact that majority of journalism jobs are often in London, which can be a whole expense with or without a cost of living crisis, like a crazy expense. Your social commentators, they are the people who go on Twitter or whatever social media platform as soon as a new headline or a big news story is being covered by everybody and pitch their two cents in, in the most usually obnoxious way that I've personally found irritating because oftentimes they want engagement, they want to be the story. And if I'm being honest with you, as a student journalist, there's just no need to get involved. You see it, you don't like it, block them, don't give them time. Now, this isn't me saying that journalists shouldn't be held accountable when, you know, an article isn't published in good faith or clearly has some issues. But what I don't agree with is just people talking for the sake of talking and expecting a thousand and one publications to talk about them. That's just always never been worth my time, in my opinion. If you're in a position in journalism where, you know, you're still a journalist, you're still producing work or doing things that are related to journalism, but it's not quite what you want to do or it's not quite in the area of journalism that you're interested in, that shouldn't stop you from starting your own platform, be it a small blog, a podcast, wherever it is, because you never know when that's going to come in and be useful because if those positions open up which they do often open up randomly there's never a set date where suddenly all the jobs for sports writers are going crazy or suddenly all the jobs for lifestyle and beauty writers are going crazy they open up randomly so if you have a portfolio that you've started by yourself that says i can do this not only because i have the skills but i also have the passion for it that can be the difference maker between you and someone else getting that job. If you like the idea of learning more about the news media and how it works from the perspective of someone who just finished studying it but doesn't quite know everything because obviously I haven't worked for anywhere big, let me know and I'll keep this going because I've got nothing but time.